Moon River. Oh, we haven't started yet. Blaring out with the Eric Blair Show. Yeah, this is the Blaring Out with Eric Blair Show, and we're backstage at the 2004 Hootenanny with Poison Ivy and Lux from The Cramps. Show them your panties. Nice. Now, now, you guys, is how many Hootenannies have you played? This is the third one. And what do you love about the Hootenannies? It's just a gas. It's just, uh, it's just like the coolest people who come to it. The audience is the audience is the best part. We played, we played uh, uh, one hoot, hoot nanny 35 years ago. We're vampires, so we played one 35 years ago with Peter Paul and Gomez. But that that was after uh, Peter Paul and Mary broke up when Gomez took over for a while. It was a great show. Great. Now, now, what have you got for the audience tonight? What what, what are you gonna pull out of your magic bag? Uh just I a. I promised him I wouldn't pull it out. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, just a bucket load. We got a bucket load for him tonight. Yeah, you guys always like take it to the limit. Uh, it, yeah, well, we keep uh, re remarking the limit. We only have first and third gear, so we can't do anything else. Now, now uh, stuck in overdrive. How does it feel to headline a festival like this? Oh, uh, you know, it's okay, but uh, you know, all, all the bands are yeah, natural. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's as it should be. Now, are you guys going to put out any news, like a new CD? Do you have one out? Uh, well, actually, we have um, a, a Rarities, a, a double CD set coming out in September of um, Rarities. This is an exclusive. Uh, well, it is. An Eric Blair Show uh, exclusive. Great. First time ever announced. On Vengeance Records, our label. It includes the various first rehearsal we ever did. It has rare. It has a our third show ever in Max, Kansas City, where we're being heckled the entire time. Um, and just a variety of crazy stuff. Radio jingles, just weird stuff. Two CD set, September. Now, what do you guys think of the false morality that's in media right now? I never understood the word morality, uh, so I couldn't tell you. But uh, uh, oh, you mean about all the censorship since Janet Jackson pulled out her uh, tattoo or whatever it was? Um, uh, well, uh, you know, you gotta expect that every once. In a while. Every once in a while, they calm down, forget about that, and then it comes back again. It comes in waves, you know. Really, has yeah. it ever been this extreme? Uh, maybe it hasn't been. It's pretty extreme right now. I think we're under the radar of that kind of thing, anyway. But yeah, it's it's probably the most extreme I, that I remember it being. I think we're too intelligent for those kind of people that are upset by that kind of stuff to know what the hell we're talking about, you know. We use, what do you call that when you're talking about one thing but doing another? What do you, what, when you're saying? Uh, non sequitur. Uh, yeah, uh, they don't think they know what that means. I don't even know what it means. How should I know? Wow, listen to that bass. Can you guys hear that bass? Yeah, I hear that bass. I, I, I feel it. I, yeah, I feel it. Yeah. Yeah. Now, tell me wow. about the gold teeth. Uh, yeah, this is my first set of gold teeth. I went through three set of white teeth and, and uh, kept breaking them, but the gold teeth have lasted now for several years. We have our own label now that we put our records on, Vengeance Records. We, Vengeance Records started in 1978, and uh, you know we put out two singles and then never had it again, and then in 2001 we started it up again, and that's we put out our last studio album on it, and that's what we're putting out these rarities on. How is the internet treating the cramps? Well, we still have a website where we work on it, and we're a little slow. We're, we're very slow, but uh, I don't know how it's treating us. Uh, you know, it's full of rumors. Yeah, you guys are definitely on there. Yeah. I mean, you're definitely, there's tons of sites dedicated there's to There's a lot of really amazing uh, fan sites, which it's good since we don't have our own up because that's kind of at least help fill in a gap, you know, and give people information. Now, how long have you guys been together? Uh, since the first time we played was November 1st, 1976. And we started playing in the beginning of 76. So about, what, 30, almost 30 years? Well... Whenever 76 was. Closing in on I'm not a mathematician, so I don't know. I know, I me neither. I'm, 30, I'm but, uh, really bad with math. Yeah. But, I mean, what? why do you feel you guys have had the longevity when so many other bands just kind of fade away? Uh, how should I know? Roll. Yeah. We're playing real rock and roll. It's timeless. You know, rhythm and blues, it's timeless. It always sounds good. What have been some of the highlights of your career so far? Being on the Eric Blair Show. <laughs> Thank you. My heart is thumping. <laughs> I can hear it. Oh, that's a band. No, now, no. you guys have some new members in the band, right? Or a new drummer, right? Oh, we do. We have Buster Bateman, uh, who was with the Blasters and Blue Shadows, and now he's all ours. We've known him for 20 years, and uh, 
I don't know what took us so long, but now he's with us. And we have uh, uh, Chopper. He's in the band. He was with the Mau Mau's and uh, uh, Mr. Bad Wrench and stuff. He's been in the band for uh, uh, three for three years yeah. now. Whatever happened to that chick bass player you guys had? Candy Domar. Uh, she's uh, in um, Annie G and the Roller Kings uh, in New York. A uh, band with her, it's her husband or boyfriend. It's really, it's a good band. Yeah. Yeah. But cool. our new, our new CD will have all them ancient zombies on it when that comes out. Really? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, several of our exes will be on that. <laughs> how many? How many later. CDs? So is this a one CD or it's like for a box? It, it'll be a two CD set. It's cool. called How to Make a Monster. Nice. It's all about how to make a rock and roll band. So people are supposed to listen to it, and when they hear how rotten we were when we started, it should inspire them to uh, think they're not so horrible. And I don't know if that's a good thing to do or not, but that's what we're doing. Now, do you guys have a family now? Uh, kids. Here it no, is. no. no. Uh, oh, she's gone. No, that wasn't mine. But, uh, no. Just cats. Three cats. Three cats? Yeah. Did you ever think about having kids? Uh, no. No? How about you? No, we're too busy. Yeah. How, how, how much time does this take up of your lives? Well, it is our lives. It's what we are. So, it, it, 100%. And we give 100%. So Have that's... you seen any of the other bands play today? Uh, not today. We got here so late. Um, we almost didn't make it because that long. We didn't expect that traffic. Yeah. So yeah, we we only got. To get in. Yeah, we got here about a half an hour ago. Did they give you a hard time? Who? The security. Oh no. no. Did they give you a hard time? They tried to give us a hard time, but we ripped them a new one. Oh, with that. Oh. Excellent. Excellent. Good work. All right. Do you own all the rights to your old catalog? To a, a lot of it, not all of it, most of it. Yeah. So, so how, it, it reverts back to you, though, after a certain amount of time, right? Well, no, just what we have reverted back, and some of it we bought back with our own, with our money, you know. And uh, But some of it will never revert back. The stuff that was on IRS won't revert back. Okay. But, yeah. So what, what about a brand-new studio record from you guys? Uh, well, the last new studio album was last year, last summer. Uh, you know, I guess next year will probably be the next one, but we're That's, not we're not working on it right now. That, yeah, we like, released an album uh, uh, half a year ago called Fiends of Dope Island, but we'll, we're we're going to start working on another one as soon as this upcoming tour is over, which will be this fall. So what's next for you guys? Fourth of July, fireworks set the yard on fire. <laughs> where, where, where do you call home? Uh, Glendale. Really? Yeah. So you guys are going to are you going to actually up in the hills? We're Glendale hillbillies. Are you going to do the fireworks thing? Oh, yeah. I can set the yard on fire. They're trying to outlaw the fireworks completely. Well, they can that's, try. That's why we're doing it. It's good to talk to you guys. It's good to talk to you, Eric. All right. All right. This is the Blaring Out with Eric Blair show with Lux and Ivy from the Cramps. Signing off. The Blaring Out show.